Hi. I'm really happy. I'm in a good mood. I was thinking about my next event, our next event in LA, and I was coming up with different titles for it because we love to have our main event. It's called Evolving Out Loud, and it's usually, sometimes it's a two-day event, although we're going on tour to different cities, and it's a uh, you know, it's a one night event. It's different, but it's the same event. It's evolving out loud, just a shorter version of it when we go on the road. And I was coming up with um, what the subtitle is because we've had many different events and they've all had different titles. Um, you know, one we did last year was I Hope I Screw This Up. Then there was the Two Day Cocoon. There was another one in there too. I can't remember what it's called, but um, the last one was called Welcome to Deep Down. And the next one is going to be called The Limitation Game. That title is just so cool to me because it just starts us out at a point of realizing that all of our limitations, what, just play with this for a second and then let's see if we can actually look at this and prove it and play with it a little bit. What if all of your fears, everything you're worried about, every insecurity, every doubt you have, everything is a game, it's not real. And what if what you actually are uh, doesn't include those fears? What if what you are is something so much more profound? And I was thinking about it, our technology is getting so unbelievable. And we're getting to a point where our video games are becoming so realistic. And I was thinking about it, and I was thinking if you could enter a video game and you could start playing a game, that was so realistic that you forget you're playing and the first thing that it does is wipes out your memory and takes away the idea that you can remember that you're even playing a video game, would you do it? And I know a lot of people would. And what if that's what's going on now? What if we are just forgetting that we're playing a game? Through meditation, so many things have shown me that the insecurities that I've felt in my life, the, the fear, the whatever, are an illusion. Because when I meditate and I sit with my eyes closed, these things always come up and then I just stay there and I accept them and I love that they're there and I'm cool with that they're there no matter how long they need to be there and I just sit and there's this fear and this thing and I, and I thought, well, it's not working, meaning I'm not getting rid of it, whatever. And then eventually I just am fine with it there and then it leaves. And these things, if I don't become okay with they're there, stay there. It's like you're pushing it down. And they're here so that we can access a place of self-acceptance that we've never accessed before and allow ourselves to accept even more of ourselves. And the second we do, those limitations can't leave. <sighs> That's a really interesting, profound concept, right? But we are so obsessed with thinking that who we are is the limitation, is a story of limitation. People often, when we make videos, defend their limitations. They show up and they go, well, it's very easy for you. It's not easy for me. And I'm sure that our circumstances are all different and I understand that and there's not a part of me doubting that. But if you come out and go, it's not easy for me, you're done. <laughs> you immediately found a reason to not access all of you because the number one thing the ego wants to do is stay the same. The last thing the ego wants is for you to access what you really are because if you do, then the story of who you were dies. The story of your limitation, the story of whatever. And if you think who you are is the limitation, which of course you'll think the second you go, well, it's not that easy for me. If you think who you are is your limitation, then expanding would be death to you. So meditation will horrify you. You will not actually allow yourself to meditate because it would be the death of your old limitation. And if you think who you are is your limitation, then it has to survive your limitation, your problem. So if you go, well, my life isn't that good. My problem is this. You're associating the I with the problem. But look at your entire life. How many problems have you had that ended up temporary and you existed through all of it? If you existed through all of it, that means you're not the problem. If you existed when the problem was there and then the problem left, that means you're the space that the problem was in. 
What most of us do is we let our problem get worse and worse and worse until it's totally unbearable. And then when it's too unbearable to be in, then we transcend it. Sometimes we just transcend it by becoming addicted to something. Or finally we go, okay, the cage that I'm living in is now on fire, so I have to get out of it. It's more painful to hold on to this problem. But if you right now just think who you are as this light problem, this this thing that's you know somewhat limited, but it's not life or death to you to let go of it, you're not going to transcend it. Because if you say I and then the problem, then you're identifying who you are as the problem. So if the problem goes away, you do too. But if you understand that you're the infinite space that's looking at the problem, then the problem has no identification to clam onto. But this is part of the game. Now, if you think that the limitation is not a game and it's who you are, you are going to fight to stay in the limitation. And there is a world that is thriving on us staying in that limitation. The last thing the world wants, the, the, the game, the last thing that the system wants, the, the people selling you things you don't need, the media, all those things, the last thing they want is you discovering what you truly are. That would be horrifying to them because then they can't control you. But if, they th if you think who you are is someone who isn't that much and you need an addiction to get through it, then they can sell you stuff you don't need and keep you, you know, consumed by what's going on politically and caught up in all the drama in the world versus accessing the thing that you are. So we are addicted to being a limitation because we don't understand that it's an illusion. And if we understand that the limitation that we are is temporary, and you can do that just by, one, leaping into something that's bigger than what you thought you were. So for instance, if you're in a job that you hate, and there's a calling that's showing up in your body, okay, that's that calling is what you actually are. But we've been trained out of living in the calling, and we ignore it, and then we find a reason to stay in the limitation. Well, I wouldn't be able to go do that calling because you know I have kids or whatever. Got it, I understand that. A lot of times those things that we think are our reasons why we can't are the reason we have to. Live in your heart so your kid feels inspired to do the same thing. So when we step into what our body says and we ignore why we can't do something, we just stepped out of the game a little bit. We stepped out of the limitation and we move into a bigger space that'll create a new limitation for that. And our job is to keep moving into our body and expanding, right? Another, th another way to expand out of the limitation game is to identify the things that are keeping you feeling stuck in your limitation and letting go of them. So it's not only jumping into something exciting, it's also letting go of the things in your life that feel heavy. The, the unsustainable friendships that you have to shrink to stay in. The, you know, living in a place that doesn't fulfill you. Letting go of things in your attic that just, you know, you have because your mom told you you have to keep, right? The things that, that keep us in our old egoic story and keep us in the game. What if we let go of those things? And the third one is a third one is to go out in nature because nature moves beyond our limitation. Nature is constantly just doing this thing. And the second we just stay in there, if you went out to nature for a couple weeks, I don't mean like live in the woods, but if you got away from your limitation place and you went and stayed in a cabin or whatever and you got off the TV and all the things that keep you in your limitation got offline and really felt, you know, the constant infinite, all your old limitation was a lot of them would start to come up and leave. And another one is meditation. And I don't mean the say om and focus really hard meditation. A lot of times meditation has been presented, I believe, in a way to keep you also in the game, to keep your focus so the same and everything like that. For me, I just close my eyes and let whatever wants to come up, come up, because everything's trying to come up and leave. But if we think that who we are is the thing that's coming up, we're trying to keep it back down so that we don't die. But if you understand you're the one looking at the thing, you won't die. You're the space that's watching the limitation leave. And the second you realize that this thing is a game, that your fear is just a temporary thing, and who you are is not the fear. You're the one looking at the fear. You can transcend that with meditation. You can transcend that with letting go of the heavy things. And you will start to move and really play the game in the most amazing, fastest way possible where you're not in the limitation anymore. And what would happen if part of the video game was to go in there and realize it's a game? What would happen if you could go in there and realize that this thing's the matrix and you're Neo? That exists. 
And if you did, you wouldn't be caught up in staying, you know, updated on all the, you know, annoying stories in the world and staying addicted to things. And addictions keep you in your limitation. They give you a numbness to your limitation story. What you are is infinite. And we're moving around like acorns trying to stay alive when we're really trees. And a tree can become a forest and that can make more acorns that become more trees and go on forever. This is what we are. And we live in a world of people who are dying to stay in their limitation for one reason only, because they're under the illusion that who they are is the limitation. And the second your mind goes, that's all great and all, but here's why I can't, you're in the limitation. It's only your past story that tells you why you can't. Only your past story tells you why it's not making it happen for you. That's how your mind works. If you don't live in your calling, your mind needs to make sense of why you're not. So it will come up with a reason. Well, I don't know how to write a book. I don't know, I don't have the money to leap. I don't have the blah, blah, blah. And it'll come up with the limitation. And you actually think who you are is this limitation. And when you actually understand what you are, there is infinite everything. You will shift the planet. You will shift you, you'll shift the planet. All of the things that you're worried about, why you can't, you know, like your reasons you can't, your kids, your money, all those things will totally take care of themselves and you won't blow a lot of your money on addictive things. You will be in your power, giving to the world on the highest level, bringing awareness to the planet, bringing awareness to yourself first and awareness to the planet. That's available because everything else, everything that feels limited, everything that feels stuck is a game. It's a conditioning that you have that these things are showing up so you identify the conditioning and accept it so that it can leave. And then you'll start to leave the game or at least really play it on a whole new level. But this whole thing is here so we discover what we are. Because the way that we've been focused on the world, the way that we've been obsessed with circumstances, the way we've been worrying politically and, and all these other things and being addicted and just being numb hasn't worked. We have to admit this is not the way we want to live. And there's something more here. And it's up to us to honor it. See you guys. If you're coming to the February event, get ready for the limitation game. And if you want to come to that one, it's already sold out. But May is selling and we'll have a whole other event there. So can't wait to see you guys at any of them.